where our state delegate from Baltimore County is due in court but he hasn't been charged. Dr. J. Jolisi has a court appearance Monday in Towson related to a domestic violence protective order. 11 News I team reporter David Collins is live in Annapolis with that story tonight. David. Donna, police did not charge the delegate, but he will have some explaining to do on Monday when a judge hears a petition to extend the protective order brought against him by his daughter. We need to talk to you. Okay. Delegate Dr. J. Jolisi is accused of assault and a domestic violence complaint. Filed by his college age daughter last week. Police have not charged him with a crime, but there is a domestic violence protective order against him, as first reported by the Daily Record, and he's expected to appear in Towson District Court Monday. According to the police incident report, the delegate and his daughter got into an argument. They struggled over her laptop computer. He fell backward, then slapped her in the face. According to police, he advised that she has been very disrespectful and he does not approve of her boyfriend. Third reader for final pass. Dr. Jolisi is a freshman delegate. He avoided several opportunities to explain what happened. According to the police incident report, Mr. Jolisi advised that during the course of the argument, his daughter pushed him backward, causing him to fall. He advised at no time did he slap the suspect slash victim. However, Mrs. Jolisi told police she witnessed the assault. The couple's son told police it appeared to him that his father was about to slap his sister when he intervened. Family law protective orders, additional relief. Dr. Jalisi is a member of the House Judiciary Committee. He is the co-sponsor of as many as a half dozen domestic violence related bills. Two of them were on the committee schedule this day. But Dr. Jalisi was a no-show. During the campaign, a rival questioned whether Dr. Jalisi lives in the district he represents. He told police he lives on Reisterstown Road and that he owns the property where the alleged assault occurred and stays there only on weekends. Last October, Maryland State Prosecutor Emmett David fined Dr. Jalisi $2,500 for signing 28 campaign expenditure checks himself. That's the duty of a campaign treasurer. Public records indicate that he also faced stiff fines related to lead paint hazards at a city apartment building he owned at the time. We also left messages with the delegates' Annapolis office seeking comment or at least a statement and have not heard back yet. Police did not make any arrests because they didn't see any visible injuries nor witness the event. According to police, both the delegate and his daughter have a year and a day if they want to file charges against each other. Reporting live from Annapolis, David Collins, WBIL TV 11 News.